Hey guys, Matt here with another little tutorial, I guess. Um, some of you may have noticed that I did post a thread about learning how to draw a triangle using a Java applet, and I was asked to actually show you how to do it, so here it is. It's relatively simple code um, in that you take the you just take the class, it extends applet, so it's, so it's an applet. You have your paint method, everything we already did. Um, but you need to set points for your triangle, um, and then you need to draw the triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Java to create a new int array, we're going to title it x points, and the way you create an array is with a uh, with the squiggly brackets. So you could do like a str you could do like a string array. Yeah, string array test. Yeah, and then you put things in here like you know a b c. Um, so we're I'm just doing I just you know made this real quick. Um, so I just chose 50, 10, and 90, and my Y points are 10, 30, and 30. So the coordinates you end up with are 50, 10, 10, 30, and 90, 30. So um, then what I do here is um, I'm setting the color of the triangle or the polygon um, that I'm going to draw. And the reason that we use, you'll see right here, fill polygon. Uh, the reason that we use polygon is because there's really no triangle um, method. You can't do like g dot draw triangle. Uh, you have to you have to do like g dot draw um, polygon. Um, but because I want to fill, I want to make like a colored one. Um, I just used the fill polygon. And you could also do um, you could define you know polygon triangle equals new polygon and then you could you know input all these fun things um, and triangle dot you know you know add points um, you can you know settings of the triangle but we're not going to do that right now um, I'm not going to do that right now just because it's easier to do this so uh, shift F6 compiles and runs your applet. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to see right here we have a triangle. Really nothing all that fancy. Just a triangle. But what I thought would be entertaining um, would, was to actually take it one step further. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a new method. I'm going to make a new method. Um, public int random int. And so what this is going to do is um, it's actually going to return x. Here we're just again. So we're going to do um, we're going to make a random number generator. Random uh, equals new. And what the random number random number generator, geez, I can't talk today, um, is going to do is it's going to generate a new number within the bounds we give it. So if we give it, you know, the bounds of, um, I'm going to set uh, r dot next int int bound. So you'll see um, bound is like you know um, the highest number you want, so it'll be like zero in that number. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do we're going to set um, height. Or oh, we'll just go with width because width is already there. And width equals. Uh, we'll do. Um, I'm going to actually have it. So what I've actually done here is I've done. Um, I've set the integer of width to the width of the window. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, define in x equals, uh, random dot next in within the bounds of, 
width what is no link um, okay sure whatever um, so then it's going to generate an, a random so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to generate a new random so we're going to do what did I name it random int so every time this is called this should generate a new um, a new random integer um, that's going to allow us to change the triangle itself uh, every time you run it. Now let's see if this works. Shift F6, compile and run. So if this worked, I won't get any errors in my little box here. And I'll get something like that. Like a, wow, that's really big. Um, maybe I'm going to do this dot get height. Uh, just so I don't end up with something, you know, like that. Okay, so let's try on this again. I'm going to compile and run it. And there we go. And you'll see every time you resize the window, you actually get a different triangle. Because what it's doing is this, when it's calling this dot get height, it's constantly changing height. And when the height changes, it actually signals this this variable width to change and therefore draws you a brand new triangle. Um, so you'll see obviously you can't I don't know why I bothered doing that don't worry. Um, so you can you know you can fill it with you can do red we'll import red we'll fix the imports shift F6 runs it again and you guessed it we're gonna get a triangle filled with okay hold on there you go we're gonna get a triangle filled with a color red really oh battery low really nothing all that fancy um, but I thought it was pretty cool especially that the triangle will resize itself every single time that you do this um, I think the last thing I want to show you guys is um, I'm gonna just do I'm gonna add a few. I'm gonna add a few more um, values into my um, integer arrays, and then I'm gonna show you what happens. Now, if you want to start making educated guesses, um, one, two, three, four, five. So, for all of you that took geometry or taking geometry, what's a five-sided figure? It's a pentagon. So it does the same thing because it's drawing a polygon right here. Um, it's drawing a polygon with these um, integer arrays. It's not actually confined to a triangle. It's just using these points. So you know we could you know we could continue this. We could just continuously. If I were to copy and paste a few more of these things. Um, Save it, compile, and run it again. We're going to get a seven-sided figure. You'll see. It'll be red. Really nothing all that fancy. Probably what you expected. Can get a little funky just because um, when it tries to fill it, you know, there's a point here, there's a point here, one here and here. Uh, looks like there's one here as well as here and here. So it's not, you know, a perfect, um, I would guess I would say science, um, you do have this really cool, uh, really cool thing you can do with the applet. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I, depending on, okay, it's 10:30, so I'm not going to be. Um, possibly sometime later this week, considering I've um, managed to somehow get all my work done at 9:20 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Um, I'm going to make a few more tutorials showing you some pretty cool things you can do with the applet um, and the J-frame. Um, maybe I'll save the J-frame for next week after we're done with this lesson. Um, if you have any questions, um, if anything in this video confused you, if I'm going to show you how to do it again uh, using anything different, uh, just let me know. Use one of the forums. Um, I can also, you can also comment on one of these videos. I get email updates when anyone comments. So, hope you guys enjoyed it.
and good luck with this week's lesson.